everyone, it's Kristen Redman, and today we're going to be going over those planetary aspects that are going to be surrounding us and affecting us this week, January 17th through the 23rd. And today I'm going to start out with one of the main things that's going to be happening this week is our sun is going to be transiting from the sign of Capricorn into the sign of Aquarius. Okay, Capricorn is a sign of hard work, and determination, and getting things done through practical efforts. It's an earth sign, okay? So it really radiates that energy of practical hard work, okay? We've had a chance to really focus on what we need to do for the upcoming year, what kind of changes we need to do to take place, and kind of devise a concrete plan about what we want to do to make our changes this year, okay? Now, we're going into an air sign, and an air sign is all about thought, mental process. Um, and the sign of Aquarius is like the most thought-driven, I guess, of all the air signs that there are. are. Um, Aries is all about, or Aries, the Aquarius, is an energy that is all about freedom, okay? Liberation from past uh, blocks. It's about... Uh, utilizing our minds, okay, and receiving these brilliant flashes of insight on how our special little individual unique soul uh, can be liberated to do what it was sent here to do, okay. There's a lot of fear that surrounds us um, when it comes to being the true and real self that we are, isn't there? There's a lot of a lot of self-imposed limitations that we put on ourselves, okay? And Uranus, the planet of freeing ourselves from these liber from these um, restrictions, the planet that represents our unique individuality, it rules the sign of Aquarius. So it really reinforces that we don't need to fit into this little tiny normal box that society has. There really isn't any limitation to what we can do, okay? We have the freedom to do whatever it is we do want to do. And there is that box that society puts and says normal, okay? And you have if you have this set of skills, if you are a woman between the age of 35 and 60, if you're blonde-haired, blue-eyed, if you're this, that, you need to do this, you need to do this, you need to take this medication or this to be this kind of normal, okay person in the eyes of society, you fit in this box, right? And everything else around this box is considered different and not cool, right? What's so wrong with going out of that box and exploring what makes you different, you know? There's a reason for that. You were given special gifts that not everyone has. We're all given some special gift that God has created just for us so we can make our impact on the world. That's also what Aquarius energy is about. It's the universal collective, the greater common good for brotherhood and mankind, okay? So we combine that. We take our freedom to say, I'm okay with going outside of this normal box and venturing out and seeing what this different world around has. And I'm not scared of what other people will think. Because you know what? God gave me these gifts and skills for a reason. Maybe I am meant to use them. And it may make me look not normal to everybody else who's inside that box, but in God's eyes I'm doing what I'm supposed to do. And that ultimately is going to bring you the most happiness. Because that's how you're going to make this impact on the world around you. When the sun shines into that sign of Aquarius, these things really come to light. They really do, especially because we have Mercury in retrograde right now, and it's it's actually making, a, it's a hard connection, though, with that Uranus, that planet that rules the sign of Aquarius. It's making a hard connection with Pluto, 
and it's making a hard connection with Uranus right now. So when the three of those combine in the sun, especially now that it's shining into, when it will shine into um, Aquarius this week, it's shining a light on past issues, past limitations, those things that hold us back from truly being who we are, right? I think, you know you've heard that song, this is the dawning of the age of Aquarius. Yeah, okay, yeah, that song. There is more to it than just a catchy tune, right? There actually is a lot to be said about that. What is the age of Aquarius, you're thinking? The age of Aquarius happened around 2000, okay? When the world has gone into this more of a universal understanding, okay? Our mindset has universally changed from being really focused, okay, on ourselves and the hard work that we need to do when we were in Capricorn, okay, what we need to do to make an impact on our immediate environment. Now we've gone into worrying about the brotherhood and the unity of the world and of the universe, okay? So when we say that the age of Aquarius is upon us, it's about finding what our soul's unique purpose is so we can make that universal collective better. What is it that we can do, right? Another thing with Aquarius energy is it's about, uh, it, like I said, it's, a, it's an air sign, so it's about thought process and mind and uh, those things like that. We receive flashes of insight. They say that the Aquarian energy is all about these flashes of brilliant insight, brilliant ideas. My husband's an Aquarius, and the cool thing that he can come up with, like the my box here that I show you every week, um, he, he made this for me uh, just by thinking he has these flashes of really smart ideas that come like, well, we don't need all these stones laying around. Why don't we make something that you can carry somewhere and that works really well so you can organize them the way you want and, and he can make it in two seconds, you know what I mean? But he receives it and he can see it in his mind's eye. He's not intuitive like me in these regards, but he's intuitive because he's in sync with his uh, special skills that God gave him, this ability to make things out of wood with his hands. Um, he's also an independent business owner. We own a construction company too. So he is driven to be unique and to utilize these skills that he has, okay? So I think of that and I think of that age of Aquarius, this, this energy that we all have. Um, and now that our sun is shining on that, it's also telling us that we receive these brilliant flashes of insight in our own little ways. Maybe for Josh, my husband, it's it's a matter of walking into a building and saying, I can tell that this footing isn't secure and this would do this and this, and he can visually see something that would happen or go wrong. Maybe you're a nursery school teacher and you can look at a child and intuitively know that their blood sugar is low and that's what's affecting their behavioral skills and you're able to help the parents better understand their child and better make their uh, home and their life better because of that insight that you receive. Maybe your insight is through something completely different. I don't know, but God gives us each one a different special way that he communicates these things through. And now that we have all of this energy this week shining a light on that, we're going to see those hidden gifts. We're going to see those repressed talents coming to the surface, okay? And it's a wonderful month to focus on that. What can I do to really be free in who I am? Hmm? It's amazing. And the cool thing is, right, we've got the full moon coming up, too, on Saturday, on the 23rd. And the full moon is going to be in the sign of Leo at that time, okay? Leo is all about confidence, strength. And ego, unfortunately, we're not going to use ego in a bad sense here. We're going to look at ego as a good thing because that's what drives us. That's what gives us the fire and the passion to be who we are, the confidence to be who we are. So when you think of that, when our moon is intuitively in that sign of confident energy and our sun is shining a light on our freedom, we have that drive behind us to be who we are, huh? Utilize that energy this week, okay? 
utilize that energy to say, I'm okay with stepping outside of that normal box. And I'm ready to show this world who I am. And I don't necessarily care, normal box people, what you think. You know, because it's about your soul's path, your soul's purpose. And let's focus on that. Hmm? We can do that. And that's awesome, too, with this full moon energy. There's so much potential that comes with a full moon. Harness that energy, okay, in that regard for your own freedom, for your own liberation, from your own self-imposed restrictions. But use it for other things, too, to expand your horizons. Another wonderful thing, too, that, side note here, because I'm realizing how far it is here on my time, and I still have to do our reading for the week, too. Um, one of the cool things to do with the full moon energy is it, it spills out blessings. It spills out wonderful insight and good things for us with this brilliant illumination Take any of your stones, okay? If you're into stones like me, if you carry them around, you feel their energies really work with you, help balance your energies, put these guys out in the full moon, okay? It's going to charge them up. It's going to clear out all the gunk that's in them that they collect from us, but they're also going to get charged with that um, confident energy that you're going to need to really be yourself. Because you're going to doubt yourself a lot. That's just the way human nature works. When you're stepping outside of your comfort zone, you doubt yourself a lot. Uh, so do that. Put yourself in that <laughs> moon energy too, okay? And no matter what, we know that if we do lose that faith in ourselves, if we do lose that confidence, Archangel Uriel, the angel for the Aquarian energy, is around to help give you those brilliant flashes of insight, those brilliant ideas and release any negative thoughts that are in your mind that are holding you back, okay? Uriel is his name. Google him, man. I'm telling you, it's, it's amazing what these angels can do for us when we know who they are and we know how they can help us, and they really can, okay? Um, another thing that's going to be happening this week, I'm going to do this really fast because I realize what time it is now. I get on this Aquarian kick, and oh my gosh, it's I may have to do a blog post or something on this because I feel so strongly the the Holy Spirit that works through every one of us, but especially through me now trying to motivate every one of you to really, really step outside of that normal box and utilize those gifts that make you you. Oh my gosh, I'll do something else. Moving on to Venus. Venus is going to move into that sign of Capricorn that we were just talking about, about hard work. And, and um, the thing with an earth sign is it's not very energetic and Fun, okay, and Venus is that planet of love and money. So as it transits into that sign of Capricorn on the 23rd, it's going to be in there till February 16th. Anything that has to do with our love and our relationships is not going to be romantic and rosy and awesome and fun. Unfortunately, it kind of sucks because it's going through that um, uh, Valentine's Day energy too. But um, it's all about practical hard work. Those really, it's about focusing on the um it's it's like a sobering influence almost to get us to focus on what makes our relationships work it's about getting more serious and focused on our commitments and our love and our money and how to make them work for us and not against us so we've got that going on too with venus you know just kind of keep in mind out with that um and now I'm going to go right into the reading for the week, okay? Um, I'm going to start with a stone to see what energy is working with us for this week with all this beautiful freedom that we want to feel. Yeah, ginormous pink quartz. Hello. That is just a giant. Here, let me get this out of the way. Okay. This pink quartz in particular actually has little teeny tiny chunks of tourmaline on the outside of it too. So this is actually dual purpose here with our reading. Pink quartz is all about the heart center, okay? And it's going to it's going to balance our emotions. It's going to balance those emotions with our mental process. And we know how important that is with Aquarius, the air energy that's around us. Uh, pink quartz helps remove pain from the past, and we know that we need to do that in order to move forward into the future. The black flux, that tourmaline that you can't see in there, whatever, 
<laughs> that provides the protection around us that we need. Okay, like I was just saying, when we get all uh, filled with that self-doubt that clouds us and keeps us from wanting to be that unique individual that we are and keeping us from shining, we are protected by the light of God and all of his angels to give us the strength to do what we need to do. Okay, so tourmaline takes that on. It protects you from the lower energies that permeate through and kind of drop that confidence down. Okay, let's see why they want to pull that stone in with us. Okay, I see four is the number that we're going to do. Um, See where they want us to pull that in with that rose quartz, too. Something about the heart center. Old hurts. Past issues with that retrograde mercury. We're really releasing a lot of that toxic hurt from the past. That's what Uriel does, too, is releases those toxic energies that build up in us, that hold us back, okay? That we replay over and over in our mind. Things we've said, things that have been said to us. Got one more shuffle here, and we're going to see what it is. All right. We have the magician, Archangel Raziel. Okay. Here. Now, this is the very, very first card in the deck. Okay. It's the number one card. I associate one, of course, with the energy of God, okay, um, and new beginnings. But Raziel and this magician card really represent being able to have control over our lives by the power of our thoughts, okay? And we just talked about how Aquarian energy has a lot to do with thinking and our thought process and receiving those brilliant flashes of light, okay? This card is saying that you are ready. You have the resources and the ability to manifest whatever it is you want in your light, in your life. It's like you are a magician and you hold that wand in your mind with your thought process. So if you think that a new relationship won't work out, it won't. Okay. If you think that oh my talents aren't good enough, everybody's gonna laugh at me if I go out and I do this. They will, okay? You are the magician in your life, okay? We take that course and it helps soothe our hearts. We we give ourselves the love that we need and the support that we need and we can achieve whatever it is we need to, okay? I feel like I need to pull another card past this because every time I see an Archangel card, I feel like they're bringing a message. And this one actually is the world. It's Archangel Michael. <laughs> so he's bringing another one in this. But I see where this comes in, okay? Um, Archangel Michael is the Michael that helps us on our life path, okay? He helps us on that journey, and he's the one that really shores us up when we lose that faith in ourselves and our skills. And he knows what our purpose is. We ask him for that guidance. If you're here and you're thinking, what is it that I want to do to change my life? How do I take these skills of mine? What am I supposed to do with them? Okay, we utilize this time with that Mercury retrograde where we still have time to really plan and think and have that energy, that Capricorn energy on our side to do it, to make it a practical plan. And we ask for Michael to help give us the guidance we need to go on that path. Okay, it's awesome that we've got two Archangels with us right now. Um, I'm going to ask them to focus on one of the energy centers here for us, give us a little bit more information. These cards added up together are 22, which is a master number, okay? Um, and I am going to shuffle this four times. Two plus two is four, numerology mind here. So we are going to ask Raziel and Michael, um, while we're on this path of enlightenment here, finding ourselves and the, conf the confidence to be ourselves, what we need to keep in mind, okay? All right, let's see where we're at for here. Yeah. Okay. So card of perseverance, okay? I love that. That really made my stomach just drop because there's so much truth to that, okay? We always want to give up way too early, 
don't we? We get discouraged because we're not in that normal box and we're getting pushed out to being different into the different zone and we tend to give up. Okay, We don't see the results we want. We've planted that seed of hope in the ground and we know it's probably germinating but we don't know because we can't see it. So we get impatient and we try to force it to dig it up and what do we do in that process? We kill it. And that dream can't come to the surface. That seed can't grow into the plant that we have tried to grow because we won't let it because we don't have the patience to let it grow. Perseverance is all about that, okay? Holding on in faith that with the gifts that we're given and the guidance that we're being given, we will get to where we need to go and not to give up. Number one. Don't give up. Orange is all about the sacral chakra. That's where our fear lives, okay? So not only do we have old hurts and old uh, words of hurt that we've given to ourselves or we've received that are built up in our heart that hold us back, we have the fear of the unknown that builds up in that sacral chakra, okay? If you have too much fear built up back there, you know what that's going to do. It's going to back up and create health problems for you. You're going to have kidney issues. You're going to have back pain, you're going to have lower back pain, you're going to have uh, any kind of colon type issues, you know what I mean, wink, wink, um, those kinds of things. Um, that's fear. It's fear that's backed up, okay? Let's release that. Let's try to at least. I know just by shining that light on that Aquarian energy right now, we are able to really move forward, okay? Just feel that fire this week to be free to be you. Okay, maybe if you don't go out and change the world this week, at least take that energy to be proud of who you are in that fire that God gave you, okay? And next week, we'll go over all these influences again and see where everything's at. But just enjoy the week and enjoy the light that you've been given. Bye.